Dear LibMind fans, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe LibMind's YouTube channel to keep up with all upcoming videos. You can buy this book in the description to support us keeping us moving forward. Whatever it is that you're going through, we will always be here. Let's dive into this today's book summary. One, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Considered one of the oldest and most influential books on military strategy, The Art of War is a Chinese military treatise written by Sun Tzu in the 6th century BC. The book covers various topics such as the use of spies, the importance of terrain, and how to win battles without actually fighting. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the enemy, oneself, and the situation in order to achieve victory. 2. On War by Karl von Clausewitz On War is a classic treatise on military strategy written by Prussian military theorist Karl von Clausewitz in the early 19th century. It is considered one of the most important works on military strategy and has had a significant influence on military thinking and planning. The book covers a wide range of topics, including the nature of war, the role of the state in war, and the importance of political and moral factors in military decision-making. 3. The Prince by Niccolò Machiavelli The Prince is a political treatise written by Niccolò Machiavelli in the 16th century. It is considered one of the first works of modern political thought and is often cited as a classic text on the subject of political strategy and power. The book is written in the form of a letter to Lorenzo de Medici, the ruler of Florence, and provides advice on how to gain and maintain power. It emphasizes the importance of being both ruthless and cunning in order to succeed in the cutthroat world of politics. 4. The Art of Strategy by R. D. Rosen and Barry Nailbuff The Art of Strategy is a modern take on military strategy that draws on the lessons of history and applies them to the business world. Written by R. D. Rosen and Barry Nailbuff, the book covers topics such as game theory, decision-making, and the importance of understanding one's own strengths and weaknesses. It is designed to be accessible to a wide audience and provides practical advice on how to succeed in today's competitive business environment. 5. The Influence of Sea Power Upon History by Alfred Thayer Mahan The Influence of Sea Power Upon History is a classic work on naval strategy written by Alfred Thayer Mahan in the late 19th century. The book argues that sea power is the key to a nation's prosperity and security and that the control of the sea is essential for the success of any military campaign. It covers topics such as the importance of naval bases, the role of naval logistics, and the importance of naval strategy in shaping the course of history. 6. The Defense of Duffer's Drift by Ernest Dunlop Swinton The Defense of Duffer's Drift is a short book on military tactics and strategy written by Ernest Dunlop Swinton in the early 20th century. The book is written in the form of a series of dreams in which the main character, a British officer, is tasked with defending a small river crossing against a superior enemy force. The book is designed to be a practical guide to the principles of defense and is considered a classic text on the subject. 7. The Battle of Britain, Five Months That Changed History by James Holland The Battle of Britain, Five Months That Changed History is a book on military history that covers the Battle of Britain, a pivotal moment in World War II when the Royal Air Force successfully defended Britain against the German Luftwaffe. The book is written by James Holland, a historian and military expert, and covers topics such as the tactics and strategy used by both sides during the battle, the role of technology and intelligence in the battle, and the impact of the battle on the wider course of the war. It is a detailed and engaging account of one of the most important battles in history. 8. The U.S. Army Marine Corps Counterinsurgency Field Manual, by David Petrius and James Amos. The U.S. Army Marine Corps Counterinsurgency Field Manual is a practical guide to counterinsurgency, coin, operations written by David Petrius and James Amos. The book covers topics such as the nature of insurgencies, the importance of political and cultural factors in coin operations, and the role of intelligence in coin operations. 
it is considered a key resource for military personnel and policymakers involved in coin operations. 9. On Guerrilla Warfare by Mao Zedong On Guerrilla Warfare is a book on military strategy written by Mao Zedong, the former leader of China. The book covers topics such as the nature of guerrilla warfare. The importance of political and ideological factors in guerrilla operations, and the role of the people in supporting guerrilla operations. It is considered a key resource for military personnel and policymakers involved in guerrilla operations and has had a significant influence on the development of guerrilla warfare theory. 10. The Evolution of Strategy, Thinking War from Antiquity to the Present, by Beatrice Heuser. The Evolution of Strategy, Thinking War from Antiquity to the Present is a book on the history of military strategy written by Beatrice Heuser, a professor of international relations and military history. The book covers the development of military strategy from ancient times to the present day and covers topics such as the role of technology, the influence of political and cultural factors, and the evolution of military doctrine. It is a comprehensive and insightful look at the development of military strategy over time. In summary, these 10 books cover a wide range of topics related to military strategy and provide valuable insights and practical advice for anyone interested in this field. From the ancient wisdom of Sun Tzu's The Art of War to the modern perspectives of The Art of Strategy and the U.S. Army Marine Corps Counterinsurgency Field Manual, these books offer something for everyone interested in military strategy and leadership.